Hello, my name is David Riley, and welcome to How To. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to uninstall QuickTime for Windows. In a blog post published by Tread Micro, the security software company detailed two new critical vulnerabilities affecting QuickTime for Windows. The two critical flaws could allow an attacker to run malicious code on Windows PCs running QuickTime. To make matters worse, Apple has decided to cease support for QuickTime on Windows. This means the flaws will not be patched with any update. Tread Micro has strongly advised users to uninstall QuickTime for Windows as soon as possible. If you're a Mac user, don't worry. Apple's QuickTime for Mac is still supported with security updates. If you want to read the blog post yourself, I have included the link in the description below. To uninstall QuickTime from the desktop, right click on the Start button on the lower left corner and select Control Panel from the Context menu. Windows 7 users will be able to find the control panel as an option after clicking start. You should now be on the control panel. At the bottom left, there is a programs menu. And below that, there is an uninstall a program option. You can click it. It is a helpful shortcut. Now, you will see a list of all the programs installed on your PC. Scroll down until you find QuickTime and click it. Windows will start the process of uninstalling QuickTime from your PC. You may have to authorize Windows to continue the uninstall process v User Account Control UAC. If that happens, just click Yes. It may take a minute or two depending on your PC, but by the end of this process, Apple's QuickTime should have been removed from your PC. You have been watching a how-to tutorial from David Riley. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Remember, don't be afraid to leave a comment below. Your ideas and suggestions are always welcome. Until the next time, take care everyone.